GNOME is the default desktop environment for many Linux distributions such as Debian, Ubuntu, Fedora, OpenSUSE, and numerous others. In today's video, I will be explaining a beginner's guide to GNOME extensions and top 10 GNOME extensions you should must try. GNOME extensions are add-ons that can be installed to improve the functionality of the GNOME desktop environment. The biggest reason to use GNOME extension is its customization, apart from that there is also added additional features, improved functionality, enhanced productivity and overall a better user experience. GNOME Tweaks is an essential part of GNOME extensions. With GNOME Tweaks, you can modify various aspects of the desktop environment, such as the appearance of the interface, the behavior of the mouse and keyboard, the layout of the workspace, and more. To install GNOME Tweaks, type this command in the terminal. To install GNOME extensions, go to extensions.gnome.org and look for the extension you want. Click on the extension you want and hit the toggle switch. Click the install button to install it. Extension Manager is part of the GNOME Tweaks app. You can search and install GNOME extensions on the Extension Manager without any need for a web browser. You just search for an extension using a keyword and install it. To use Extension Manager, simply open it from the Application menu. Here are top 10 GNOME extensions you should definitely try. Improved Workspace Indicator is an add-on that enhances the workspace switcher in GNOME Shell. By default, GNOME Shell provides a workspace switcher in the overview. However, this switcher only shows the current workspace and a small thumbnail of the others, which can be difficult to distinguish if you have several workspaces. The improved workspace indicator extension adds more functionality to the workspace switcher, making it easier to manage your virtual desktops. It displays a row of icons that represent each of your workspaces, along with a label indicating the number of windows open in each workspace. You can also click on the workspace icons to move between them, drag and drop windows between workspaces, and configure the extension to show previews of the windows on each workspace. The Arc Menu extension displays a customizable menu on your desktop that contains your applications, settings, and other system tools. It supports different types of menus, including a classic menu, a grid-based menu, and a favorites menu. You can customize the appearance of the menu by changing the background, font, and icon size. In addition, the Arc Menu extension provides search functionality that allows you to quickly find and launch applications. You can also use keyboard shortcuts to navigate the menu, making it faster to access your favorite applications. The Arc Menu extension can be a useful addition to GNOME Shell, especially if you prefer a more traditional menu-based interface to the newer, search-driven approach. The Caffeine can be a useful extension if you want to keep your computer awake for a certain period. When the Caffeine extension is enabled, it displays an icon in the top panel of the GNOME shell. Clicking on the icon toggles the extension on and off. When the extension is active, it prevents the screen from dimming or locking due to inactivity. You can set a timeout period after which the extension will automatically turn off, or you can disable the extension when your computer is running on battery power to conserve energy. Overall, the Caffeine extension is a simple but useful tool for preventing your computer from going to sleep or locking the screen when you need to keep it awake for a specific task.
The Open Weather Extension retrieves weather data from the Open Weather Map service and displays it in a customizable format in the top panel. You can configure the extension to display the current temperature, weather condition, wind speed, humidity, and other details. The Open Weather Extension is a simple but useful tool for keeping track of the weather conditions in your area without having to open a separate application or website. Blur My Shell adds a blur effect to various parts of the known shell interface, such as the overview, panel, and login screen. The blur effect can be customized to suit your preferences, including the blur radius, opacity, and color. You can also choose which parts of the interface to apply the blur effect to and exclude certain applications from being blurred. Blur My Shell extension can add a touch of visual flair to your GNOME Shell interface, making it more aesthetically pleasing and personalized. Burn My Windows is an extension only for customization purposes. This extension brings variety of effects when you open or close a window. You can change the animation type, window type, color scheme, power mode and power profile. You can also add individual application to show your desired animation effects. Clipboard Indicator allows you to manage and access your clipboard history. It keeps a record of the items you have copied or cut to your clipboard and allows you to quickly access them later. NetSpeed Simplified displays network speed information in the top panel. It shows the current upload and download speed in a simplified format, allowing you to monitor your network activity at a glance. You can also customize it in various ways, including the unit of measurement, the update interval, and the color and style of the speed indicator. The NetSpeed Simplified extension can be a useful tool for monitoring your network activity. Vitals is an add-on that displays various system information such as CPU usage, memory usage, and network activity in a user-friendly and customizable way. Vitals displays an icon in the top panel. Clicking on the icon displays a menu that shows the system information, allowing you to monitor your system performance in real-time. You can also customize the display of the system information, including the colors, style, and layout. Dash to Panel is a popular shell extension that allows users to transform the default known shell panel into a more traditional taskbar style panel. Dash to Panel also allows users to customize the look and behavior of the panel, including its position, size, style, and color scheme. Users can also choose which applets to display on the panel and in what order. Overall, Dash to Panel is a useful extension for known shell users who prefer a more traditional desktop environment. So, this is it. This is my take on GNOME extensions and top 10 GNOME extensions you should definitely try. Hope this video helps, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more Linux videos. You can also visit bestlinuxdistro.com for more Linux-based contents. That's all for today, stay tuned for the next video.